the Oxmoor Auto Group Traffic Center. I'm Mike Marshall with Beat the Traffic. Time to check in with the Geek Squad and get ready for March Madness, which starts next week. The NCAA tournament one week from tomorrow, and lots of people fill out brackets, but frequently you Xerox the one in the paper, and then you try to write everything in. But there's a much easier way to do the whole thing. Special Agent Brian Williams is here from the Geek Squad to show us how to set up a whole league, sort of like a fantasy league, but with the brackets. How to invite people, right. and everybody can do this from all across the country in one little league. That's right. All right. Start Let's by get started. Start by going to uh, the ESPN main main website, okay. and we can we can uh, go ahead and jump into their main page here. ESPN.com. Just go to ESPN.com, and in one of the banners here, you'll see the fantasy uh, tab. Which I would normally <clears throat> think would be for fantasy baseball and football, but that's where you're going to find their tournament challenge. Exactly. Okay? And they even have a link right up at the top, obviously being March Madness. Yes. Uh, that's going to be the, the highlight. So jump right into the tournament challenge, and that will allow you to uh, begin setting up your brackets. Can you do this even though the brackets aren't out yet? You can go ahead and get started on it? You can get started by signing up, and okay. that's going to be the, the uh, first important step. Um, sign up for uh, the ESPN website, and that will allow you to get into this section right here. Okay. Once you're here, you can create your entry, uh, which you see right here, and that will bring you up to this section, once which I've already an created an entry right. here. Right, we see Agent Williams. And, of course, right now, the, the, uh, the brackets haven't been set yet. The, the, the matchups haven't been made. Not until the 14th, so... Sunday night <clears throat> by 8 o'clock, we'll know. That's who's right. Where. Yep, yeah. and it even has the countdown showing when that's going to be. So, up until then, you can also go in and set up reminders. Uh, you can set up mobile alerts to receive those reminders on your phone. Now, is that a mobile reminder for your bracket, or is that reminders about when games start? Actually, this one here, uh, I believe, is, is uh, specific for your particular tournament. So uh, they will send you an alert that tells you when your team that you picked has lost? Well, they, they have a lot of alerts, um, okay. and I believe that they will uh, also let you know when your, <laughs> when your team is lost. Um, the mobile website has huh. a lot of different options available so that you can find out about your specific team, uh, about your particular bracket, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, and now, starting uh, on the 14th, uh, you'll be able to uh, start receiving those reminders to let you know to jump back in and, and get your what picks What you need done. to get done. Yep. And you can go ahead and invite friends now. All you have to do, I guess, is go to invite friends you start plugging in their email addresses it will send them a reminder and they can get in and that's you can right. have your whole little league managed where it's all on one site that's right all yep. right now in a little while you're going to show me how i can keep up with all the action even at work that's right slyly perhaps <laughs> not that we're encouraging anybody to not work and check their mobile phone for the action but you have ways to watch the games without having a television in your exactly. office. Exactly. Yep. Okay. That's, that's the latest and greatest right All right. There. The special agent will give us the <laughs> download on that in a little while. Thank you very much, Brian. You're welcome. Hey. I'm back with Geek Squad agent Brian Williams to talk about watching basketball and keeping up with what's going on while you're at the office because all these games start at noon next Thursday, a week from tomorrow. That's right. And uh, people want to keep up, but they have to work till five o'clock. That's right. <laughs> so Excuse a couple, me. couple of really cool ways that um, that you'll be able to keep up with the tournament. Um, I know a lot of people have an iPod or an iPhone, and ESPN ha actually has a really awesome uh, mobile application that you can download from the App Store uh, to put onto either your iPod or your or your iPhone. Okay. Um, we actually have one that um, that was loaded here, right. and uh, as you can see. Um, they have the ability to uh, jump in and, and catch some of the highlights from the ESPN uh, mobile website. Now, you can also jump into the ESPN site on uh, other uh, browser smartphones enabled, or other and, smartphones, okay. right, uh, to, to get a lot of the same content. And one of the things that you'll really have to check out, especially if you're looking to uh, catch up on the tournament at work, is the bosses button. Now, it's, it's not, the page hasn't been set up quite yet, but it's going to allow you to easily exit the application. Let's say if your boss were to, you know, come by your, your cubicle while you were working and, and just hit one button, hit one button, and it's going to jump you right out into something like a spreadsheet. Um, I believe that's what they had last uh, last time they had that application <laughs> available. I think my boss would be more suspicious if he saw me working on a spreadsheet. But anyway, <laughs> you do have ability if you start searching now. 
for some smartphone applications that will allow right. you to keep up with tournament action. And as we were showing you earlier, if you go to ESPN.com, you can sign up for these alerts that either alert you to your bracket or to how the games are unfolding. Exactly. If you're, if you're on another smartphone, you can easily access the, the mobile website by going to mobile.espn.com, and okay. that will get you a lot of that same content. And one quick question about that. Are there any con security concerns for people who are trying to get into these sites, or is everything okay because these are trusted, well-known sites? Actually, ESPN is a very trusted and well-known site. Uh, people have been using it for years. Uh, they trust the content that's coming out of it, uh, and I know they, they generally monitor what goes into their website. Right. Very, very closely. So. so you don't have those concerns. Exactly. Yep. All right. Brian, thank you very much for coming by this morning. Oh, Get welcome. us all ready for all the basketball. That's right. I can't wait. Uh, me neither. Thank you, Brian.